Theodore Roosevelt, 26th President of the United States, Rough Rider, Conservationist, Trust Buster, Presidential Moose Rider, no, that, that's, that's not right, okay? He did not ride a moose. But you may be thinking, of course he did. There's a meme about it. Okay, let's discuss this picture. This picture is fake. It was Photoshop before Photoshop existed. It was created in 1912 by the Underwood and Underwood Company as a political cartoon for the election of 1912. The full picture shows Roosevelt riding a moose, William H. Taft riding an elephant, and Woodrow Wilson riding a donkey. Roosevelt was running for his third term as president against his former vice president and without the support of his original political party. Thus, the story of a former president and third party politics began with the race for the White House. Before Roosevelt left office in 1908, the progressive movement was in full swing. Republicans at the time were worried about progressive reforms stopping after the new president being elected. Fortunately, Roosevelt had a plan. He had mentored his vice president, William Howard Taft, in progressive reforms. And, after that election, Taft won the presidency, securing both the continuation of the progressive movement and Roosevelt's legacy. However, Taft did not advocate for reforms as much as Roosevelt had hoped. And Theodore Roosevelt became furious with Taft, and he decided he was going to run for his third term as president in the next election. However, he needed a political party backing him, and the Republican Party had already decided to endorse Taft for his re-election. And Roosevelt was not going to consider the Democratic Party because they had already chosen their presidential nominee, Woodrow Wilson. Instead of giving up, Roosevelt created his own political party, the Progressive Party. Roosevelt had already had a number of Republican supporters at this time. In some of his rhetoric on the campaign trail, was described as a charging bull moose, indirectly creating the party's mascot. Theodore Roosevelt was sure that he was going to win the election. His rhetoric was very decisive and very informative. However, his progressive ideals weren't always connecting with the changing voters of the 19-teens. Some thought Roosevelt was sure to win the presidency. He had the publicity, the progressive policies, and the experience of being president. However, some critics believed he was only running to get back at Taft and the Republican Party for not listening to him or supporting his campaign. Roosevelt focused only on Taft as his opponent while turning an oblivious eye toward Woodrow Wilson. Roosevelt believed that he would definitely win against Taft but was uncertain about Wilson's campaign. However, when election day came in 1912, Republican voters were torn between choosing either the incumbent William H. Taft or the former president Theodore Roosevelt. And when the final ballot was counted, Roosevelt had won more votes than Taft. But Roosevelt did not win the presidency. Taft did not win the presidency. Woodrow Wilson, the Democratic presidential candidate, had swept the states in the South and in the West, as well as most of the central United States as well. A Republican had been president since the progressive movement began, and the movement's fate was uncertain after the election of 1912. The progressive movement, thought to be revived with Theodore Roosevelt coming back into politics, riding a moose. However, riding a moose was not enough to secure the presidency, and the progressive movement was in unknown territory with the election of a Democratic president.